Joe, let's talk about how you built a million dollar plus business with little or no experience, social media marketing company where you help businesses. So many people um, wonder what to do. They know they want to be entrepreneurs, but they don't have a lot of cash because you didn't have much cash to start either, right? No. <laughs> and Not you didn't have much experience. You're pretty much self-taught. It reminds me of the Jim Rohn saying where he says, uh, a formal education will make you a living, but self-education will make you a fortune. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so let's, let's go back. What year were you? And, and if you're watching, pay attention because we're going to go through kind of the steps that he took that, and you can mimic and mold some of your life and uh, around what he did and what he found success at. You actually have two companies now, but let's focus on the social media marketing agency. He basically, you specialize in restaurants now. You've done yeah, different yeah. niches. That's correct. And you were telling me about one restaurant where you came in and they were making like 70 grand a week and you took them to 100,000 a week. So you added 30,000 times four, over 100 grand. And there will, the thing about small businesses, if you own your own company, they will pay you if they can directly track that you're making them more money. That's right. So how do you- They'll never stop paying you if they can track that they're making you money, you're making them money. Right. They, yeah, you they, got a they, client they, for life, right? That's right, that's right. So- and you don't need long-term contracts then because it's that month to month won't stop. Yeah. So let's take it back to the beginning. You had an idea. What was the initial idea you had before you started at all? Okay, so for me, it was the business I had before, um, and, and my industry was sales training, and I had, we, we, it, was, it was dying, you know? Right. And, and it was 2008, and the economy was crashing all around us. And so um, I had a, a client of mine ask me if I could help them with social media. And I yeah. said, what do you need? They said, well, we need, our, we need a presence on social media. We're getting ready to start a new business. And I said, well, I can help you. And so I took it kind of out of desperation, funny enough. But so the, the idea was, if I can figure out how to help them, maybe I can help more. And right. so I concentrated all my efforts on how trying to get them online on social media. This is 2009. Yeah. You know, that's back when you're recommending MySpace still. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, I, I spent time uh, immersing myself in the subject about every book that was coming out at the time. And at the time, there was quite a few books coming out. In fact, yeah. I remember going into Barnes Noble and I walked in. And you know how they have the best in business section in Barnes yeah. Noble? Yeah. And I stopped cold. I had this on my slideshow for a long time. I did trainings. But... Every book in the best in business section was a social media book at the time. Huh. It was Twitter marketing, Facebook, you know, and, and LinkedIn and YouTube and uh, video. And I, it was, I was just like, yeah, this is a clue. You yeah. know, this is going to be big. I mean, they're, yeah, that's is, what I tell people if you're watching this. Make sure you catch things when they're still cutting edge. Life is especially when disruptive patterns come out whether it be you know, the internet, the car, all the, the steel industry came out. If you search back through history, it's at those disruptive moments and time that a few people who have eyes wide open and have some courage go out there and step out. And they, they, they're what you call first movers. And it's called the first mover advantage. Now, here's good news I'll tell people because some people might go, oh, I missed it. 2009 was a big time. The first mover advantage is there for about seven years in my experience, seven, eight years. So when the internet came out, let's say 95 or something, you didn't have to catch it in 1995. But that first wave of people who made money in the dot-com boom was about up to 2000, 2001, and it really started out in 94, so it's about seven years. Then you saw the next thing, like MySpace and so on. About seven years later, new trends came. Facebook, Twitter started to rise. And now, in 2015, 2016, you see the rise of things like Snapchat and really Instagram has risen since 2012 when it was, became big. So, so you got in there. And live video. Live Fa video. Facebook yes. Live, Facebook Periscope. Facebook Live, Periscope, yeah. even though Meerkat disappeared. But yeah. so, so you had this idea and how much money did you make in your first year? First year business? Yeah. First, first year, year business, I media. would probably say, I think we did somewhere around three or $400,000. Oh, so you came out the gate pretty strong. Well, our, we, were, we were very ambitious. We thought we were going to be all over the country you know, really fast. And uh, we tried to spread our wings a little too fast too soon. But it did pay off from a revenue standpoint. But then you make some mistakes along that way with, by right. not 
concentrating because if I had to redo it, if I did it again, yeah. I would tell people start in your local market and just master that, and then yeah, and then start go in out. a smaller niche. Yeah, and starting yes, and we don't were even try to. We make were taking on auto dealerships and bars and restaurants and right. and fitness centers. I mean, it, you name it. We were like whatever whoever would pay us because we were. I was very sales oriented for my background, so I thought I'll just go sell a bunch of these clients and figure out how to help them along the way. Yeah. That was the lesson learned. And, and but, the basic service you're offering, not to interrupt, sorry, yeah. is for somebody watching who doesn't quite understand what you do, a lot of companies, there's millions, there's tens of millions of small businesses in the US and around the world, wherever you live, and most of them, they know how to run their business, but they don't know anything about social media, and they, most of them know nothing about branding and nothing about marketing. So they hire somebody like you to either train them or do it for them, so that a pizza restaurant doesn't have to hire a full-time marketing staff. They might not be able to afford that, but they can afford to pay you monthly or hourly like that. And so you've been able, how many clients were you able to grow up to like now, roughly? So we, we actually, you know, having more clients doesn't mean you're always making more money. So we were charging between 500 and 1200 bucks a month yeah. when we first started out. Yeah. Um, that's what I thought the threshold was. Then I realized it's just as easy to sell somebody at fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars a yes. month as it is to sell someone at five hundred and a thousand. Quite honestly, the businesses that could only afford five hundred to a thousand were the broker businesses that caused you more heartache yeah. than the ones that could have happily afford two thousand dollars a month. Yeah. So, you know, we had seventy five clients within like six months of, huh. of starting that business. And most of them retainer based clients. Today, you know, I have just under fifty clients, but paying me a lot more and a lot more per month. Yeah. So, and you, you know, like that model because I tell people you don't always have to make a big, big business. Even Mark Cuban, he was over at the house not too long ago, and, and he was telling me, he said, Ty, I never like to build huge companies. So, a lot of my companies had 30 employees, yeah. 150 employees. I mean, he's a billionaire, and in the billionaire world, 150 employees is very small. So, if you're an entrepreneur starting out, you can really start out by yourself, or you had some business partners at the beginning and a few staff, but you, Going back, if you could start over, you could start from your home with just your laptop. Yeah, I mean, by yourself, and maybe one assistant, right? You remember the book Rework that yes. came out? That was the first book to really open people's eyes that you don't have to be in an office to have a successful company. And they grew 37 Signals, which was Basecamp. Yes. And Basecamp is, is a, still a software that we use today to help manage clients. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I was doing it all over again, I'd, I'd, I'd do it now. I'm virtual now. Yeah. So it's still out of my home. I have a home office. Yeah. And everybody that works for me or does any type of work for me, contract or employee, are all, are all, are all in their own homes. Yes. And now we do meet uh, and we meet online a lot yeah. and we're also meeting at clients. Yes, sometimes but, you fly out there. Yes, and also, you know, I'm still, I'll still go out and meet face-to-face -face with some of these clients too that are yep. in my area. Yep. Um, but you don't have to have an office anymore with a bunch of employees. You yeah. can do it from home. You pretty much especially need this right here. If you're here, first starting laptop. out, iPad. That's, I mean, that's iPad. your office. That's this your is office. The, this is my office right here. That's I do almost office. everything on this. That's right. And, it's, and you can manage your whole agency on that. And you don't care. Yeah. Here's what I learned. That the businesses don't care about how fancy your office is or your right. office. They care about you being able to get them results. Results. Like that's I said, it. that bar. What was the bar that was doing 70,000? Where was it? Wisconsin? So this was in Wood, Woodbury, uh, Minnesota. Okay, Woodbury. Oh, Minnesota. Yeah. So it's in you know, $70,000, $72,000 a week. Um, that was last year, November. Uh, this year at this time, they're over $100,000 consistently a week. Now, yeah. I knew they had the potential to do 100000 a week because they did it in their honeymoon. Initial launch. In the initial two but months. But a lot of business, a lot of restaurants start out strong and then phew, crash and Correct. burn. Correct, which so. is what was happening with them. Yeah. And then they were wasting their money on print advertising. And they were doing one magazines. They they're were doing still, you can come and all that money companies are spending That's on right. magazines. They'll pay you. That's right. Because you brought results. How much were they spending on magazines? They were spending about 700 bucks a month on one magazine that they were putting their ads in that were not trackable. Yeah. They were, there was bad advertising in magazines, let alone you shouldn't be advertising in a magazine. Yeah. But they said to me, I said, you know, well, how are you spending your marketing dollars? And they said, um, that was one of the plays. I said, can you show me the magazine? They showed it to me. I said, how much are you spending? I said, 700 bucks a month. That's half our fee right there, right? Yeah. I said, okay, so you're going to stop doing that. And they said, well, we, we're a craft beer restaurant. Like we have 70 craft beers on tap. Like we have to be in the craft beer magazine of the local. Right. And I said, says who? Yeah. Like says, craft says the restaurant. Craft people are looking on Facebook. They're looking on Instagram. Correct. They're looking Correct. on social media. We actually took out all the advertising they were doing. They did some radio spots too. 
Yeah. That's very expensive nowadays compa yeah. in comparison to Facebook advertising. And who the heck listens to radio? And if they do, people just change the channel. I mean, you're They're listening to I'm not mocking all radio I ads, know. but it's not as good as internet ads because internet advertising is direct. It goes from the page, yeah. some, from somebody's phone or laptop, straight to your customer <laughs> or these businesses, and you can attribute. There's attribution. Okay, this one came from Facebook. I spent 500 on Facebook this month. I made $2,000. Right. I had a radio advertiser call me, advertising sales rep call me. I have 20% stake in a restaurant south of Minneapolis. And he says, he says Joe, can I, can I tell you what we have? And he showed me, he says, I can reach 15,000 people for you on our radio ads and on our display advertising that plays when people are listening to radio yeah. on their computers in their office. And the display ad was like 15,000 people it could reach, let alone another 15,000. I said, so you're telling me I can reach 60,000 people. How much is it? 4,000 bucks. I says, what if I told you that last week I reached 100,000 people with $100 on Facebook? Yeah. And he said. So 4,000 is how much he was charging businesses. For 30,000 reach. To reach, reach 30,000. You were helping businesses reach three times the people for. A fraction. Not even, about 5%. Yeah. Or yeah. Less it's than not 5%. even comparable. And I, I said to him, I said, you know, I really. Think you gotta find another career soon. He said, you know, most businesses, Joe, don't know how to do that. Yeah. But I do see that's a problem. I mean, he knows yeah. this. I mean, he's a sales rep. Yeah, you're getting in on the inside. If you learn how to do this, I'm gonna put a link here below. You were actually, Joe's out here at my house because he was nice enough to fly in uh, from, from Virginia where he lives and record lessons for those of you who are in my, uh, how to get small businesses to pay you one to $10,000 to manage their social media test program. I have a program that I opened up for people, so you were recording lessons. I wanted to record a video like this for everybody, just so you could learn, you know. But I'll put a link now. The program, depending on when you're watching this video, <clears throat> right now it's currently not allowing new students to come in. But if you click the link below, depending on when you're watching this, it might be open, or it'll have a waitlist email where you can actually learn where I teach social media, what I've learned, and I know how to monetize social media, and Joe knows how to bring you know that those skills specifically to small business niches that you could pick one of those niches and learn so it's a four-month program you basically get certified at the at the end so you could come in with no money or exp very little money and very little experience then to four months learn from people like me learn from from Joe learn from other experts on how you can start making getting small businesses to pay you one to ten thousand only takes five customers paying you fifteen hundred bucks and now you have a six-figure income. I mean, people go to university yeah, for I, a long time <laughs> to figure out how to make six figures. I, I went for a long time, and I didn't learn how to make six figures even. Yeah. And, well, average and, person coming out. America has <laughs> $1.2 trillion in college debt. Uh, more than we spend on the military, more than the trade deficit. It's college. And, and people are, the worst part is people, not all university and college is a waste of time, but for a lot of people, they go, they spend come out 40 grand in debt, four years of their prime of their life, and they can't get a job. Yeah, that's crazy. So this is, you learn a skill, which in this case can be just Facebook advertising. Mm -hmm. And you literally can go to local businesses with that knowledge. Yes. And get them re re results that move the needle. Yeah. So that's the thing, is that it's, 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 that's 100%. So I can look at anyone, 100%, a small business owner and say, where are you at right now? Yeah. And are, what kind of marketing are you doing? If they're not doing any type of social media advertising or anything like that, I know without a shadow of a doubt that they'll never not pay me a thousand bucks a month to get them the sales results that they need. Yeah. That, Unless they're, they're hard headed and just, or you don't want Correct. Them. But at least I'm confident in knowing that I can help them. Right. So you're, and, so you're basically saying anybody in the niches you serve, which right now is primarily restaurants. Right. If they're a going restaurant in business, you pretty much know. If they're not marketing on social media, they can pay you a thousand, two thousand bucks a month, That's and right. you can make them way more than they're paying you. Oh, every every time, and yeah. that, and anybody watching this, you know, particularly those that are either in your program or going to be getting into that social media agency yeah. program, you know, I don't care how old they are. Yeah. You, you know, they can if as long as you can go in and you can give that type of value. Yeah. Six figures is is easily within reach. Because you're now over seven figures, over a million plus. Yeah, I'm, right now, I'm, you know, one of the things that I want to do is continue to learn from people like you so I can get, get it to, to eight the, figures. Get to eight figures you're trying to next go to level. Eight. And that's good. And look, I say, I always tell people, follow the rule of 10, which is figure out how to make a hundred bucks a month. Then quickly figure out, you, you can pretty much do no brainer. You get your first client and say, instead of paying me a thousand, pay me a hundred just to have one client, <laughs> you know, if it's a small client. But then you figure out how to make a thousand a month. 
then you make 10,000 a month. Once you make 10,000 a month, you make 100,000 a month, which is kind of at the level you're at, six figures. And once you figure out how to make 100,000 a month, you figure out how to make a million a month. We, we had a, we had a, um, a restaurant, a multi-unit restaurant uh, franchise owner group yep. that owned 34 Long John Silver locations. Okay. That paid us 15 grand a month. Wow. And we put a system in place to basically automate the same social media to all those locations. So it wasn't taking yeah. a lot of our time. But then we did do some local customization to all those 34 to locations. One, right. But they paid this, that $15,000 retainer a month for almost two years straight. Yeah. I think it was maybe longer than two years. Yeah. Every month. Yeah. This is wide open. And, and I, one thing that I tell people, and I always thought like this when I was in business, if you are entrepreneurial minded, the odds are you're going to come up with many different ideas. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, Jeff, they had many ideas. So what you want is to always be progressing up and you have to be strategic in the small businesses you pick. The strategic thing about learning, uh, getting paid to do internet marketing for other companies is any idea you have for the rest of your life, you now know how to market your own idea. So people getting in the social media marketing agency test group, not only are they learning how to make money today, which is important, but they're also building up a skill for any time that business. next year, if you have an invention idea, you have an, uh, you, you know, you have an idea of an app or a, a store you want to open, retail, restaurant, you, you can do your own marketing. Can, can I give you yeah. an example yeah. of that? So my wife has a hair bow business. Okay. And she You mean like hair bows? Hair really? bows. Okay. Yeah. And, head, and headbands for little girls. Okay. And she started this out of our home. Yeah. And um, she does have a couple of really cool deal sites that, that help her sell her, for a commission, they sell her bows, like zoolily.com and some okay. of the big ones. Um, and so I applied what I knew about Facebook advertising, really she was a big testing ground for a lot of this, to her business. And from 2012 till now, she's grown to a million dollar business. Wow. And the only money she spends on marketing and advertising is Facebook, yeah, and she does this with one employee in her in our home, yeah, who drives to her house every day, and it's her mom. Yeah, she puts her on a full time salary. Her mom does an amazing job for the company, and she has a million dollar business selling hair bows from her home. Yeah, called Girly Boutique, over eighty thousand fans on Facebook. And you um, using your skills were able to help your and, wife. And in the course yeah. I teach, I actually show specifically how we did it. Yeah, um, to grow that business. We so, just recorded that, by the way. Those of you in the test group or click below that that uh, get on the waiting list or get in the test group. You were just explaining, like you How were just screen. Step by we were step. screenshotting his laptop while or screen recording, so you can see. Press this button on Facebook. Look for this. Doom, doom, doom. It's pretty, man. I, I, you know, I got started in 2000, early 2000s with internet marketing with just a, a course from Corey Rudel, which was not that in depth. It was basically like, all I remember is. Google advertising is going to be good. So I just, I figured it out all on my own. Nowadays with all the, the things like this course and what you teach and this, even this free video here, I'm like, it's right there in front of people. It is. Yeah. They just got to learn it. Yeah. And, and Would you ever go back to the employee lifestyle after you have this lifestyle? No, no. What's your favorite thing about being your own boss? I have eight kids. Okay. So favorite thing is I have, I, and I coach little league football, youth football. Okay. For yeah. my third grade son. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, and you know this cause you're a lifestyle guy. Yeah. In my case, I, I, I want to be able to call my shots when it's time to pick up my kids or be able to take them to the bus stop in the mornings or, or coach flag, you know, flag football. Or in this case, my kid, both have two sons playing pad tackle football right now. Um, I coached youth basketball for the first time last, last winter. To, to me, that's what it was about. Yeah. It was about time freedom to be able to do those type of things and call my own shots when I could work and when I didn't want to work. Yeah. So isn't and now that, you get to travel. Isn't that and, what it's about? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, life is made up of moments. If you don't like most of the moments, right. Change it. <laughs> you, you don't have a good life. You know, people are always, there's something about the human brain flawed where you're always thinking it's going to oh, my life will be better in two years, one year, and that just keeps pushing out. And next thing you know, people are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 going, where did it all go? Where did time go? And a lot of these opportunities, I'll tell you this, I don't know, what, I'll get your opinion on this. My opinion on the social media marketing agency concept as a business that you watching could potentially open up if that interests you 
it's not going to be a wide open window forever because as more and more people, that's part of why I have a test group that I limit the size. If too many people learn how to do it, then every small business you go to will already have somebody doing it. So the window on this thing, you know, I, it's hard to put uh, exact time frame, but I would say this seven years and small, to me, 2012 was the big year when I think social media, not only people, it was there, but enough adoption of all ages uh, of that technology was being done. My grandma started using it, you know, all that. So 2012, that means the windows till about 2019. And the earlier you get in, the more of the first mover advantage. Like you had a great, for you got in in like, 0809. We're trying, yeah, but we were we were lost trying to figure this stuff out. Yeah, and we had to convince people that it was going to be something that people would adopt. Now Much, they don't have to now. Oh, now it's way easier to sell clients. Yeah, it's way easier, and it's way easier to get results for them too because there's now you know. Then I remember I remember going to a business saying there's over two hundred thousand people on Facebook. <laughs> really? That's what you told them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now I, there's like 800 million I remember people. when there was half a billion and I, in like 2012 I was doing, or 2011 I was doing a, a presentation like there's half a billion people on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Soon it'll be the whole world. And it, what's cool about this, like a young person watching this who's 16 or something, you could potentially start this because if you walk up to an older business owner and you say, I can do your social media, they'll believe you. They will believe Because they believe yeah. that a 16 year old. But also on the flip side, Absolutely. if you're 50 and you bring results, people aren't gonna think you're too old. That's right, yeah. It's like results driven. It is results driven. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you gotta be obsessed with those results because those results are what keep you paid every single month. Yeah. Well, this is good. I wanna, I'm gonna put a link here below. Um, I wish we had more time, but you gotta, he's, Headed back. This is a traveling, jet-setting man. You flew in yesterday, and he's flying back. Well, if you got eight kids, I understand. That's a that's a big responsibility. But um, I'm gonna put the link below. If you want to learn uh, more about how you could get into this program, how to get small businesses to pay you one to ten thousand dollars a month to manage their social media and internet marketing, there'll be a link below. Now, don't freak out if you click it and it says closed. Like as we're recording right. Now it's, it's been closed. If you're watching this a week later, or a month later, or a year later, it might be open. I, we open it, let certain amount of people get in, graduate, go through the program, close it as new people, then we bring new people in. So if you can't get in, don't have a heart attack, put your email for the waiting list, um, and you'll be learning. You know, I've spent over $20 million of my own money, depending on how you count it, but tens of millions, let's say. It's probably more, but my lawyers want me to be conservative. So I'll say tens of millions on learning how to use social media uh, to create revenue. And that's what I know how to do. And, and I think, you know, in the, I'm probably in the top two or three people in the world after the Kardashians and stuff like that, actually using social media to generate revenue to their own businesses, which is what I do. Joe, so I teach in this program. You're gonna learn from me. And then Joe's actually running an agency, making seven figures. The goal of this program is for only for you to make six figures if it's your first business. Let's not have too big of ambition. You can always do that later. So get to six figures, then you can figure seven figures later. But Joe's teaching in there hands-on stuff. What, how much would you pay if you could go back in time and have yourself teach you everything you know? It'd be worth. Oh, it, it, I'd pay $100,000. Yeah. Don't worry, the program, the test group's not 100 grand. <laughs> I, 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 let's put yeah. it this way. I have been part of a mastermind group that was close to that amount. Yeah, it was like 70 grand. It was you over pay still grand. on continuing education for yourself. Oh, yeah. How much do you think you spent? You spent 70 grand a year to be a part of one kind of trade mastermind group. Yeah. And you um, probably have bought 5, 10, 15 other programs. More. Uh, yeah. probably, probably more on different topics. So you've you know, already copied from, from copywriting because yeah. you want to be good at all the elements of this. So yes. you know, over time, I've I've at least I don't I don't I've spent I don't too much. <laughs> well, how many years have you been my, in that mastermind? Give my, a few years. Give my, uh, I was in it for a year. The first the okay. first year I taught in it. Which so is you how spent I over a hundred grand learning this stuff. Way more than hundred yeah. grand. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm still am. I'm still buying courses every yeah. single every single. I tell sometimes you know every month. people see online courses. We have online courses, or there's different places, and people are like, "Is this a scam? I'm not going to do it." I'm like, "Well, then don't do it. Be yeah. behind the curve." People who are overly suspicious no. of everything. I mean, you want to be suspicious, um, 
but I've learned overly suspicious people are always behind. They just I, are. I, I know, you, you know, you recently had um, the OMG co uh, course. Yes. Um, so I bought that. Yeah. You, know, you know, because there's things that, you know, I, I see new every day. New angles. Yeah. New angles, new, new, pers new perspectives that I know I can learn from. Yeah. Um, that's why you pick up a book. Yeah. You know, it's, you're trying to get one good thing out of something that's worth money to you. you yeah. Know? If they give me, if I take that program and it teaches me how to get even one more client. Yes. You made all your money. I made all my money back. It's, yeah. And this program here has a money back guarantee. So you go through it, didn't work for you, getting your money back. Can't do better than that. Great. My man, thanks so much. Thanks, thanks Ty, for having yeah. me. Appreciate it.